Okay, this is uh, for a viewer that I'm trying to help with some Samsung firmware for an Android device. I don't even know what Android device, but it does not matter. He gave me an image. If I list it out here, you can see it's called System IMG. Just remember, extensions mean pretty much nothing. That's just for you as the user to know what this is. And this is not a standard image file. If we do file and the name of the file, it will tell us what type of file it is. And you can see it's an Android sparse image. Uh, and if we list it all out, you can see that it is about 90 megabytes. Okay, so we cannot mount this as is. We need to convert it or basically extract it because what this is, it's a compressed image. It's a compressed image of a partition that holds the firmware for his device. So what I need to do first is convert it. And with some Googling, we know that the program is called um, SIMG to IMG. Uh, thing is, where is that package found? If we do aptitude, or if you're on Ubuntu apt cache, if I could type today, there we go, cache, and I say search for this, it's not going to find anything. So the next thing I did, you know, I'm running Debian here, so I open up my web browser, I type in uh, SIMG to IMG Debian. First page that comes up is Debian uh, website and its packages and right here I can see that it's in a package called Android Tools uh, File System Utilities. Uh, I also tried doing a more thorough search with aptitude or apt-get searching the um, what you call it the the description of a package and it did not come up there. So my third step was doing Google. So I'm gonna do aptitude or just so Ubuntu users don't get confused, apt-get install and that's the name of the package. And I would type in my password. It's going to download and install. It's not a very big file. It's only gonna take a few seconds to install. This is actually my first time doing it on the system. I already tested it out on my laptop when I was talking to the person the other day. Package is installed. That's all you have to do to install it. Don't go and download it from someplace else. So now, to run it, again, our file is called systemimg, and that's our sparse Android sparse system image. We're going to say uh, simg to img. We're going to give it the original file name and an output file name, which I'll just call um, sys dot img okay extract now if we list it out again you're gonna see that the original file is 90 megabytes and the uncompressed image is 5.4 gigs because almost all of that space besides 90 megabytes of it is empty space so it compresses fairly well but once extracted it's 5.5 gigs so make sure you have space on your drive and so at this point I can also run file on sysimg and you can see that it is an ext4 file system which is just your standard uh, Linux file system that you'd find on most Linux desktops and in this case you know Android devices there are other file systems but we know exactly what this is because it tells us right here so now that we know that it's just a regular image containing an ext file system we can mount it just like we would mount any partition from any hard drive so let's make a directory to mount it to so I can go make directory I'll call it FS for file system you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna say sudo mount and I'm gonna say sys.img and FS and this might work it might not it worked in some cases you might have to say tell it which file system it is, you would say dash T, ext4, and you might have to say dash O, uh, loop for a loop back. Um, but usually most modern desktop systems, if you're running Ubuntu or Debian, you don't need to put that information in, it figures out. If you're running a lighter weight system, you might have to. Just to tell you that in case you come across that. But in most cases, if you're running a modern file system, there you go. And if we list out files inside that FS folder, you can see what's in there and we're working directly with image now so if I go in here any changes I make uh, will be affecting that image just as if it was a partition so if I move into the FS uh, app and that's where most of the files are here I can do a um, du-h will tell me how big all the files are in this folder not very big but let's say I wanted to delete a file let's say I wanted to delete this file so I can remove this file and I'm just highlighting and center clicking to paste that in there. And if I list out, you can see that the sec browser tests 
packages are now gone. If I was to move out of these folders, because you can't unmount it if you're in those folders, I can now control L to clear the screen, sudo umount fs, that, that folder, knowing that I'm in the folder that folder's in. You have to point it to it. Okay, so if I list and I list out fs, you can see nothing's in there because it's just an empty folder now. Nothing's mounted to it. If I sudo mount sys.img to that fs again, and I move into fs and into at and list, you can see the files we deleted are still missing because we deleted them. Okay, at this point, something I have not done yet is converting this image back to a Android uh, sparse image. So hopefully this works. I have not tried this yet. With the package I installed before, so apt the uh, Android tools uh, file system utilities. And if we look at the Android here, you can see that there is also in this package a file called img2 simg. I'm just going to guess that that's the program that converts everything back to what it was, to the sparse image. So I should be able to run that img2 simg, give it the file name of the ext partition image that we have. And I'm going to give it a different, I don't want to overwrite the original just in case. So now I'm just going to say system2.img. I'll hit enter. Not getting any errors. Now, I was going to say it might take a little while because we're compressing it. Didn't take that long. Let's list things out. And you can see, okay, so converting it back, it didn't compress. Oh, it compressed quite a bit more, actually. I was reading that wrong. I thought that said gigs. So depending on the files that we deleted, we now have shrunk down the size. There might have also been some other empty space in there that it wasn't compressed as much the first time. But we can see that we do have now, if I say file system2.img, it's a sparse, an Android sparse image. And just to check it, let's convert it back. So we're going to basically start all over again with this new image. Just to make sure all our changes took, I'm going to say uh, SIMG to IMG, our new system to image, and I'll just call this new.img, just so I don't get confused. I know this is the new one. And again, give it a second to uncompress it. Hopefully, I don't run out of space. I'm not sure how much space I have on this partition. Uh, I'm going to split the screen here and list things out. We can see the new IMG is already at two point is. I'm going to delete this file just to make sure. There we go. That was the file that we originally converted. And you can see it's taken a little bit longer this time. And I'm not really sure why. It could be that it's more compressed. There might be different levels of compression. Maybe we compress it more than the original was, so it's taking longer to decompress. There we go. It did it. So I'm going to now list out my files. And you can see the new IMG is 5.4 gigs, just as the original one we extracted was, because the partition is staying the same size. Compressing it will change based on how much empty space is in that, but when it's not compressed, the empty space still takes up the same amount of space. So now I can sudo, oh, I can also file new.img, and we can see it still is an ext4 file system, and I can sudo mount new.img to that fs folder. I can move into that fs folder and into the app folder and I can list things out and you can see the files that are deleted are still deleted. The original file here will still contain them. That's compressed so you can still retrieve them from there. That's why you don't overwrite the original unless you're sure you want to. We can always go back to it there. And that's pretty much it. That's working with Android sparse uh, file systems. Uh, I don't know much about them other than what I just showed you. Uh, apparently, like I said, this is um, supposedly firmware from a Samsung device. Uh, and I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter, Ember and my wife, Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. 
I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.